it's not like a fashion show but i also went to impress the 13 year olds so it's a hard bargain guys <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding but Anything with hyaluronic acid is for me. Anything with collagen, cha, I'm trying to catfish it like that. Depuff me. Enhance my color. Good morning, Ms. Amo. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Binja. <sighs> and today I am starting the day at 6.38. I was up, actually up at 6.30, but I'm actually sitting at my desk to work at 6.38. Um, and my goal today is to pretty much get any editing work that I have done out of the way, get a lot of my other entrepreneurship work out of the way, and then at some point throw in a workout because I'm again going for consistency and hopefully we shall see where the day takes us today's gonna be pretty chill pretty mellow um, a lot of on the computer work but I figured not every day has to be fireworks right it's getting the time and taking the time to have gratitude in everything so if it's in the ability in the fact that i actually do have the ability to work i have a lot of gratitude for that that i woke up this morning i have a lot of gratitude for that so i hope in everything you guys are doing you're taking the time to actually reflect and be grateful <laughs> um Gratitude plays a really big part in who I am as a person. I'm very grateful. Um, and gratitude really just helps you get perspective. Or at least that's what it does for me. Um, on the days when I feel like I do want to complain. On the days when I feel like I do want to complain. I definitely switch my perspective back to gratitude and realize that. I actually have a fully functioning body. My mind's right. I, I just have so much and um, where one thing that I feel is like dramatically gonna change my life or would dramatically change my life and is the actual end of the world for me I usually slowly shift my focus and that has generally helped me out um, especially on the tough days because I don't always have amazing days there are many many days when life sucks and when life throws you a ton of curveballs that you really didn't expect but at the end of the day i think there's such a power in gratitude such a power in remembering that some people are living in the days they prayed for you know um and one thing happens and you lose sight of that so i want to continually center around gratitude around having the right perspective um and while difficult I always try to stop and name four or five things that I'm grateful for and that usually starts to ground me again especially when I start spinning out when I'm just like this isn't working as I intended oh my god what am I gonna do oh my god and I just try and slow down name five things that I'm grateful for and throw in a meditation <laughs> and generally it helps me kind of recenter so and I also pray um, and all of those three things together help me recenter. And I hope that you guys have a great day. I hope that when whatever point in the YouTube universe you watch this, that you feel encouraged that everything isn't really as bad as it looks. It really isn't. Um, and we don't. We're not in like the Olympics of struggle where it's like, oh, I gotta find somebody who's like doing worse than me for me to feel like my life is better. That's not what this is. It's just looking at what is going on in your life um and reflecting on how much of a blessing that is so i hope that encourages you and let's get to work <laughs> uh, as part of setting the mood creating the ambiance for work i generally will bring my water with me this is usually filled all the way to the top it's one liter um, and then I turn on my candle I am currently burning the Santal mask from DW home and that's kind of how I set the mood for work 
So let me turn on my candle and get going. All right, y'all, so my video is currently exporting, which is a good thing, which means I finished one out of three, I believe, videos. So that's fine. Uh, it's only 10.44. So as that's gonna finish off exporting, I am gonna go ahead and uh, watch one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, her name is Monroe Steele, I think I talked about her before. And kind of decompress for a little bit and then I'll get back into editing my second video and hopefully by the end of today I will have all of that done. Hola mis amor, I am actually unable to continue editing because the lights are out and my laptop is dead and actually I do have a charger that can charge it up. Anyway, it's already, oops, I don't have my watch on, it's like 1 o'clock-ish, um, 1 p.m.-ish I should say. And what I'm trying to do now is get ready to go and pick up my siblings from school. So I'm just going to pick out an outfit, um, I'm going to take a shower, pick out an outfit pick out a scent and show you a couple of the accessories that I'm going to use in my look today. That's going to be my outfit of the day outside of my jammies. I am yet to work out and I think I'll come back and do like just like a yoga stretch, nothing too crazy. Um, so yeah, let me just go ahead and figure out what I'm going to wear today. It's also not extremely hot in Kinshasa, meaning it's like 70s, 80s. So nothing you will see from my channel if i ever say i'm in kinshasa it's gonna be a sweater unless i'm like sick or the temperatures like drop to a crazy number which i've been here over a year that doesn't happen so we're on the equator in case that didn't make sense why there is no cold weather um we sit right on the equator it's either hot or rainy and some days it's rainy and hot hence high humidity but let me pick out what i'm gonna wear and then I will get back to you with my final look. Okay guys, so this is what, <laughs> let me get myself sorted here. This is what my outfit of the day is gonna be. Um, I figured I go monochrome and then just throw on a kimono. Like I said, it's not cool. <laughs> It's not cold, but I think the kimono moves and is super breathable so that will do and it's also just like a nice touch of an African print. If you haven't seen my vlog where I tried this on as a new in African fashion item, feel free to go right back. I'll make sure you drop it in the description box below, but I'm gonna pair the kimono with this white monochrome look where I'm just gonna have this white camisole. It is from Primark. And then I'm gonna wear these, yeah, wear these, oh God. Then I'm gonna wear these jeans here. They are a little stretchy, and they are from Denim Co., which I believe, maybe Old Navy? I'm not sure. They might be Old Navy jeans. And that is the look. And then I'm just gonna throw on some sandals, and I should be good to head out. Okay, let me get my dress. <laughs> okay, mes amours, so here is the final look. I really love it. Um, I love the white on white. I just came to realize that my camisole is a little bit sheer. I tried to get some pasties on, but I don't know man, she's not, she's not doing what she needs to do so I'm gonna be really careful with how I walk around. It's not horrible, like you can actually like go out and see my nipples but like, I don't know, you know? I, I don't wanna be self-conscious and I'm not that person cause it's just boobs, everybody has them. Um, anyway, I gotta get going 
And so let me show you what my accessories are for the day. Uh, I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna wear my Apple Watch. This is my Series 4. And this is one of the new leather bands that I showed you guys in my new in tech video. So I'm just gonna get that on. Comes on pretty easily. And then, let's see. I'm very minimal when I'm picking up like my siblings from school just because it's not like a fashion show, but I also want to impress the 13 year olds. So it's a hard bargain, guys. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, but. Okay, so today's scent, I think I'm gonna use the same. I am just a Coco Chanel girl. I don't know. I, I love this scent, like I said in a previous video. It's just my, it's the scent that best represents me. It's notes of just like luxury and effortlessness. So, you know me. So this is the scent of the day. So we're just gonna get a couple on. in there and that's about it I don't I don't know that I overdo it but it's just enough because it's just enough where like if I had to say you know say hi to somebody and I am giving them a kiss in Congo we give like two or three kisses depending on the person so if I'm like gonna go into somebody's face I want to know that they're like getting the best version of me and that's only reserved for like family and people I know um, otherwise Rona, you're just gonna get the elbow. Okay, so jewelry, I still have my same stack. So this is a Mejuri pendant. Uh, I believe they said that the symbol was the symbol of strength, something like that. And then this is a paper clip, a gold necklace from Amazon, and that is a snake chain link from Amazon as well. So this is a trio that I don't really take out. Uh, and then what else am I gonna do? Oh, these rings. These rings are also from Amazon. I also generally don't take them off. And when you see them off, just know that I probably washed my hands and forgot to put them back on. I'll now go off to get uh, my shoes. And then I think we should be good. Let me just grab my mask. I'll grab my wallet. Oh, I'll grab my keys at the door. Yeah, generally I don't like take a bag with me. Um, I actually, I'm actually thinking about doing like a what's in my bag. Um, more for like the tech side of things on my African techie uh, vlogs. Uh, and then maybe I'll just do like what's in my bag. A bag that I will take with me around on a day to day. But today, I don't feel like carrying a bag with me. Um, sunglasses. <laughs> As you can see, the level of excitement. I love sunglasses. So I'm gonna get a pair. Y'all, isn't this carrying case just the, the cutest? This is from a company called Feisty. And you open it up like you would. And there are the sunglasses. So these babies, I don't know if it works with this outfit, so we'll just give it a try. Let's see. Oh, honey, I don't know. There's something about a good pair of sunglasses that just, it just makes you feel fabulous, honey. Just saying. So enough of the playtime. I gotta get myself together and uh, go pick up my siblings. It's the responsible older sibling thing to do. And I think we're good to go. Ciao, I'll see you in a bit. I'm exhausted it's literally going to 4 p.m. and now is when I'm getting back and I think when I left it was like one something that's literally how long it's taken me to go and come back and this like a two almost three hour trip is generally I can't. I'm so tired it's generally like a 15 20 minute trip 
like on a Sunday and then during the week it's like a three hour trip and I freaking like people don't follow any rules like no traffic rules like many African countries it's not like Congo is unique in any way it's just here there's like a special level of just like I'm going to drive a friend of mine used to say that people who didn't know how to drive got their licenses at Walmart and many people here got their licenses at Walmart like <sighs> So tired I'm like I've like sweated through this camisole like this whole thing is just filled with I, I can't even tell I don't know if it's like it's not really visible there but my entire person is like all of a sudden filthy and I've just been sitting in the car <sighs> okay. I'm actually gonna stretch because I'm already gross I'm just gonna go into a workout and this way I'd have fulfilled my workout for the week. <sighs> but I'm just so tired. Wow. So I did a 12 minute uh, stretch and cool down and then I did about five minute meditation and so I think that's all the body movement that I'm gonna do for today I'm pretty exhausted today it's 5 13 and I don't know I think maybe it was just the traffic I'm very very worn down so I'm gonna take a bit of a long shower a bit of a pamper um, I might actually throw on a mask just so that I can feel a little bit of self-care going on but I just I just don't feel right I feel like I need a little bit more time to just unwind I thought the stretch was gonna help me cool down and maybe a little bit of the meditation but my heart rate is down which is good I just still feel like something is missing and I'm thinking let me just get that self-care in and then maybe I'll feel better So this is the mask that I'm going to try on today. I believe I showed it to you in a previous vlog. Um, it's Anna Arui and I think I'm going to try do the wash off mask just because I'll already be in the shower um, and it says to have it on for 15 minutes. 15 minutes facial therapy. Okay, I think I can do that. That sounds good. Let me open it up so we can see. So it has a very sticky consistency. That's clear on your end. And this is the wash off one. It smells not bad, a little medicine-y, um, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna put a splash of water on my face and then I'm gonna apply the mask and give it 15 minutes. And if you haven't realized, I'm back in my shower now. Hey y'all, so we just finished masking. I kind of waited the 15 minutes um, and then took a shower. Actually, did I wait 15 minutes? Maybe a little less than 15 minutes. But then took a shower and then now I just realized that my friend Abby uh, had actually sent me these, the 24 karat golden eye masks. And their under eye mask, it says they are premium collagen eye mask solutions for wrinkles, dark eyes, and puffy eyes. They have hyaluronic acid and collagen, and anything with hyaluronic acid is for me. Anything with collagen, child, I'm trying to catfish till I die. Like, I wanna be 25 out of 100 with like nice silky hair, or gray hair, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be me. I'm gonna be that like fly grandma. Anyway, let me get this box open so we can actually 
see what it is and then this will wrap up my self-care night I didn't realize that this is where the day was gonna take us but here we are okay so it comes in this box like I showed you and inside there are 30 pairs it says of the under eye masks what the container looks like all right let's go ahead and see Ooh. It's a fancy I love it these are like applicators oh my god before I forget I also got something else I got still also from my girl Abby she like ah, uh, she's everything right now this is like the perfect night so she also sent me um, this Jade roller kit it says focus on your beauty preach Oh my gosh, my self-care night is turning out to be amazing. Oh, this is so good. When I tell you, like, I literally have not yet opened it, so let's do it together. Oh, wow. Look at this. That's the jade roller right here. And then this is the stone where um, what I've seen folks do with it is if there's any liquid that's, like, stagnant in a particular part of your face they like pull it out and if I'm using it incorrectly somebody signed off below let me know oh look it oh my gosh hold on guys I gotta show you this do you see the consistency of it okay so I'm taking that you scoop it how does this work it's so sticky what okay oh the collagen is just perfection okay so you take one this way if I can pull it up higher there we go oh come through healing all right let's get into the jade roller I know typically people put these in the fridge so that it's nice and cool, but I'm gonna test it. Oh my God, it feels so good. Just like a massage on your face. I suggest you definitely put this in the fridge and have it cool before you use it on your face. It feels incredible. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is literally just what I needed for this night. This is wrapping up my whole day perfectly. I'm not using this end because this smaller end is usually for your under eye, but because, let me get this guy's back up in place. She's fallen. Because I am already using my eye mask, I just wanna keep things kosher. And yes, y'all, I do have a towel. I do have a towel guys do not fret I'm not flashing your babies oh okay let's see how long does this mask stay on my face 20 to 30 minutes oh let masks work with their brightening depuffing and hydrating magic for 20 to 30 minutes then remove and discard gonna go lie down I'm gonna go lie down for like 10 minutes oh I think I should have actually gone that high ah oh, that's sitting perfectly now oh okay guys I'm gonna wrap up this vlog day here and I am so glad that you all stayed with me until this point saw me exercise some mini self-care in my day and just overall get some work done today some days are not going to be super hectic like i said earlier today and today is one of those days it's just very much a get your work done make sure you're healthy make sure you're staying alive kind of day so i'm gonna leave you all don't forget to like to comment and to subscribe liking helps more people see my videos that tells youtube that this video is good show it to other people so that's really important uh for you guys to like the video and then 
obviously sharing it and subscribing guys we're gonna be at a thousand soon so i'm so glad that my little channel is growing and you guys are a big part of it so i'm gonna stop talking and get my self-care on bye bye y'all